You ready? We need to get to the safe house. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those were some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Boys in blue want to have a word, Lincoln. <laughs> Downtown. Uh, hero killing you. Uh, God, lose so these you cops now. Your ass tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing I'm winding my ass is so what right, was I saying? Why the fuck right. you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn fronts. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us, but we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. <laughs> Boys in blue want to have a word, Lincoln. Negative visual on suspect. Repeat visual contact lost. Watch the Repeat, abandon search, return to patrol. Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! Ugh. There's a way back here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it!
you see what I did to your friend here? He cares. And are you gonna be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. Is that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those common sympathizers? Yeah. How else? Well? <laughs> Fucking smart mouth, cocksucker! Just take it harder on yourself, pal! Shoot him! What the fuck is over here? What did you touch? What? Uh, nothing, man. Terror. Terror. Goodbye. Over there. Backpack. What the fuck does that mean? What do you think? It means Mr. Kane keep his hands to himself. Let's keep moving. Security. 
light on the open open tree from the other side. You got it? Got it. But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Or anything, you gotta stand strong. Oh, that's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head right, off. All right, all right, all right, all so, right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Attaboy. <sighs> How's the hand? How's the face? <sighs> Tell me. Who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. Fuck! We got company. Find out what Aldridge was after. There's got to be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. Damn it. What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. 
I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Devochka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldridge was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius.